Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Yetzia and I am going to show you today how I create tabs to use on the planner. Um, a lot of you have already seen the planner templates that I created and you probably even own it. And this is what it looks like. And what I mean by tabs is these little, um, well, tabs that we put on the divider. So we put in between either months or sections in our planner. Like let's say we're creating like a monthly section. Um, and then you would put a divider and they would put a little tab to kind of pass the pages. Um, and this usually like at style, like, um, like a style similar to this one. This is very, very pretty. Look at that detail right here. That is very, very pretty. Um, and also kind of like this one. And yeah, I go to Pinterest for pretty much everything, um, just to get ideas on the either designs or color. Yeah. And I think it's, it's very, very useful. So I'm going to show you how to create three different styles and these are so beautiful three different styles that you can use. And one little trick that I just discovered that I've never used before. So this would be the first time that I would be making one of those. So let's jump into Canva right here, create design custom dimensions. And I always do four by six inches when I'm designing um, sticker sheets. And that's because I like to fit two in, a, in one um, sticker sheet. And my sticker sheets are like US letter size, which is like 8.5 by 11 inches. So I make sure that my canvas right here is four by six inches so I can print two in one. So I'm going to name this one master um, tabs. And I always do the word master so I know I can make copies from this without having to um, to edit and like re-import the same thing over and over again. So I wanted to try something. Um, and well, hopefully it works out. Okay, so what I did is I picked one of these grids and this is the square one and you can resize it. So I'm going to make it about, let me make this a little bit closer. Okay, no, a little bit more, 200, okay. I want to make this about a half inch, actually no, um, let's do, yeah, 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 let's do a half inch. There we go. And then I'm going to do about an inch wide, okay. And I promise there's, there's a reason for this. And then I'm going to pick this shape, which is the one with the rounded corners. Let me close this. This one I'm gonna make also a little bit smaller. And I'm not thinking of like a particular size. Probably just right there. And then I'm going to position it backward yeah that looks a little bit why is this not getting let me do 300 and see what happens nope so do I have to do this oh probably and then pull it okay 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 so about like this and honestly I I like the rounded corners a little bit better but for this that I'm trying to do is this is going to have to work. And again, I've never done this before. Okay, so it, it's kind of looking like a tab now and it looks odd, but when we put it on a page, it'll look a lot better. Um, so I'm going to go to uploads and I have already uploaded this um, image right here. And this is just like, I literally Googled um, 
what was it? Flower, flower pattern paper, something like that. And just saved it to my computer, which that's very, very bad. Like if you're not, if you're going to sell your designs, don't do that. Just go to creative market or Etsy and buy commercial licensed paper. I just copied this one just to show you. And so, yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put it inside that placeholder and it's looking really nice. It's looking really nice. And the point of this design is that you can create tabs with different designs and it is really nice to have that placeholder right here. So let me go ahead and duplicate this. Okay. So you have, no, not elements. Let me pull the uploads again, re-import this one, and then I'm going to place it inside of this. And you can play around, it actually matches, but you can play around with different colors. Let me do maybe bluish. Oh yeah, bluish. It looks good. No, that does not look good. So let's go back to bluish. Okay. And you can put um, any pattern paper that you have. If you double click, you can reposition the paper um, to whatever you want. And then you'll have, like you can create a template out of this for yourself. And let me duplicate that again, put it right here, center this a little bit. Okay. Move this a little bit. I'm just using my keyboard. Um, since this is for myself, I'm just using my keyboard. Um, and that's it. Like if you have other different flowers or I, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying flower, but it could be anything and uh, that you have that you have purchased before, you can go ahead and just put them in here. So that is option number one. Let me go back to 100 position this at the top of the page. Now I'm going to show you my favorite one. And again, elements, and then I'm going to use this one right here, which is the one with the rounded corners is the one that I use the most to create this type of thing. So this is about, let me see, half an inch. And now this one inch. So let me see. Yeah. Half an inch by one inch and you can do like anything you want. It could be two inches. It really just depends on what kind of planner you have and the size of your tabs as well. So we have that one and I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to change the color real quick just so I can see what I'm doing. And again, I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. Place it right here, position it backward. Okay. 0 0.4, 0 0.4 inches, okay. Should I make this a little bit taller? Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> and again, it just depends on whatever you like. Um, okay, so let me change the color. Let me make them match. And I'm gonna make this one purple. There we go. They're both the same color. Okay, I'm going to look for, um, let me add some text and I'm just click, I just clicked the letter T on my, uh-oh. Uh-oh, on my keyboard. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it up right here. I'm gonna change it to white. And I'm going to put, I don't know, a month, January. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just by pulling on it. And right now I am really loving typewriter type. Um, fonts so I just click typewriter on there and let's do that one nope 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 how about this one yeah okay that looks pretty nice okay I'm gonna move it a little bit to the side because on here I want to put some type of element 
Let me see. How about this? Okay, we're resizing. Right now, I just want to try the colors. I need a lighter color. Kind of like that. Okay, that's looking good. Make it a little bit smaller just so it fits. And this is just, I'm going to rotate. This is just um, to make it pretty. Basically, you don't have to do any of that. And again, this could be different. Like you can make that a different color. You can put anything here. Remember this part right here is what would go like, actually on the paper. And if we go back to Pinterest, it's the part that actually goes on the paper. Like, let's take a look at this one a little bit closer. Um, see like this one right here, uh, where it says January, that's the part, the part that sticks out. And then this is the part that actually goes like glued or taped to the paper. That's what this would be. And you can do whatever you want. This is just for the sake of making it look pretty. So let's put this up right here. And I wanted to show you another one. I saw, I can't even remember where, but it's something like this. Let me show you. Um, let's make this about four inches. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't fit. So let's make it, oh yeah, four inches, four inches. Okay. And then about two inches wide. Actually, let me leave some space. Let's make it two and a half because I'm going to need some space for punching. And let me actually, let me add another page and let me pull this to the next page just so I have some space for designing. Okay. Actually, did I see it here? Hold on, let, let me go back. Let me go back because I think I saw it on this page when I'm trying to recreate, where is it? Okay, no, I couldn't find it, but let me go by memory and kind of show you an idea of what it is what I'm thinking. And I'm, I just duplicated the same shape. I'm pulling it. I'm going to position it backward. And now it creates something like this. It is not, okay, let's go to position. Let's do center. So it's all centered together. There we go. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. And I need another element. I promise this is all gonna make sense. I promise it will. Let's make this white. Is that white? It looks gray. It's probably my computer, okay. How about like that? I'm going to leave a bit of a space because we're going to punch this actually, like right here. We're going to punch this because this is going to be on the on the uh, ring side of our planner. Let me search here. Um, note paper. Is that what I'm looking for? Just so I don't have to do the lines myself. Let me see. Notebook paper. I don't know what. Probably this one. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, I'll just add lines and I just hit the letter L on my keyboard. Where's the color black when you need it? There we go. And it doesn't have to be black. It could be gray actually, like a dark gray. Oh yeah, that looks really, really pretty. I'm going to make it thinner and let me make this a little bit closer. Okay. Yeah, the line needs to be thinner. About like that. And then I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to have to make it closer. Okay. Then I'm going to stretch it. So it's about the same width of that white space. And now I'm just going to duplicate it. There we go. You know what I'm going to do? This right here, I'm going to lock. And the white one, I'm going to lock. Just so I can select the lines. Oh, I need to lock. I forgot about that because I couldn't see it. Okay, I need to lock this top part too. Okay, I'm going to select the lines, duplicate, select again, duplicate, duplicate. Let me move this a little bit. Okay. 
and then probably three more duplicate about right there let me make it 200 so i can see most of it Okay, so my phone was ringing. I have no idea what I was saying. You probably heard it. So let me go ahead and finish this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unlock only the white part so I can select all the lines on the white part. Then position vertically. Oh, that was not good. Yep, that was not good because then there's not enough space. I'm gonna have to make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, I mean, like, taller. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me go ahead and lock the white part again. Select only the lines, and I'm going to push it up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to add text. I just hit the letter T on my keyboard, and then I want to make the text white and i'm going to text on um, today's to to do's something like that can i make this bold i don't know oh yeah okay i'll make this a little bit bigger um a little bit more Okay, and then this would be like a tab that you would put directly on the rings by punching holes right here. And then you put it like all the way to the top. And then this right here would like stick out. You can make it even a little bit bigger. Let me unlock all of the parts. Okay, so I'm going to select the text and the top tab, make it a little bit taller. There we go. And since this is off center, you can add, I don't know, a little something. Let's check out the featured. Um, yeah, that looks cute. And you can make it smaller just so it fits over here. Probably lighter colors to make it stand out a little bit more. But for now, we're just going to leave it like that. And then you would punch it here depending on what kind of planner you have. And it's like a big tab. You can group it all together. Uh oh. See, but you can't group that one. Never mind. On group. Okay. Let's go ahead. Okay. That's better. Let's try and group it again. Okay. Group. Now that's better. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so I can see the whole thing. And I'm going to pull this back to this sheet right here just so when I print everything prints in one sheet delete that one and there we go there we go we have three different options and if you want to get this template so you can you don't have to do it from scratch you can you can just play around with it with what I did already there's a link in the description box and I will send it directly to your email with some instructions on how to import it. So thanks for watching.